Hey guys, Lek here. Today a quick video to show you how to replace an old lamp uh, and wire up a new one. I'm going to show you what you need, safety steps, how to handle it, and that's it. We're basically fixing up an old house here, so we're replacing all the outlets, all the lights. So I'll probably do more follow-up videos as well with uh, doing uh, outlet replacements and things like that. And if you guys have specific questions or comments, comment below, and I hope to answer, I'll make a video for it. So uh, before we get to this, let me show you what you need. Uh, obviously you're gonna need your new lamp kit. Usually it's gonna come with some connectors, screws. This is an LED one. So this connection is really simple. It's two wires. You have black and white. Normally white is the neutral wire. Black is the hot wire, meaning that's where the electricity is coming from. Uh, it could be also red. So depending on how old your house is, what kind of wiring you have, the hot wire will, will normally be black or red. Um, if you are not sure, uh, as in this house, all the wires are uh, uh, black, uh, you get a little tester. This is uh, by Klein Tools, it's about 20 bucks in Home Depot. Uh, this is dual, means you can also detect 12 volt, but there's a uh, one that's only for AC power, which is a little cheaper. Um, you turn it on, you put this to a wire and it lights up red to tell you if it's live or not. So that's the test that we're gonna use. Um, wire stripper, this is one type, there's all different kinds, some electrical tape, the wire connectors that come with the light kit already, or you can reuse your, the old ones usually that are in the lamp, and probably a screwdriver wrench to remove your old lamp. So, before we get to this and take it apart, uh, you are not just using a light switch to turn off the power that doesn't fully turn off the power, there's still light current going to it, you want to go to the breaker box, completely turn off the power to that outlet, get yourself a flashlight or a lamp so you have light, and that's when you start working on it. So I'll show you a breaker box. Okay. So go to your breaker box, figure out which one it is. If you don't know, have somebody upstairs, start flicking them off one by one till it turns off, you know that's your breaker. Normally you're gonna have it labeled here. This is brand new, so we don't label it yet. Uh, these big ones, that's probably main power or this one. So that turns off your whole power system to the house. So you don't wanna to touch this. So we know it's this one, so we flip it off. Now our, the power to light is completely off. Cool. Breaker's off, you flip the switch off just in case anyway. Now we pop up our lamp over here. We just have a screw in the middle that we're gonna unscrew. So that's what I wanna do now. Okay, piece of junk. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, before you start touching the wires, you take your tester, green, green, we're safe. No electricity, if it turns red, you didn't turn something off. We can unscrew these. lamp is disconnected and I already see that white was here so that's neutral black was here but if you want you go back down you take the your tester you put it to it to make sure you have the hot one which I will show you guys now anyway power. now we got a power back on I'm gonna grab my tester just be careful not to touch the wires because they are live and you see it's turning red that's our hot live wire normally this would be black or red but since this is black or red also we have no clue and this is green because this is neutral and that's it. We'll turn this back off now and wire it up. Alright, so we know that's our hot wire. Make sure it's off before you start touching it. Cut a little space here because this uh, LED lamp is pretty flat, so we need to tuck these wires back in. So since these are old wires, I also wrap the housing in some electrical tape just for extra security so nothing cracks. Uh, preferably, you know, you want to replace everything. And uh, just to show you guys, ground wire. Usually there's also ground wire, which is going to be bare copper wire sticking out. In this case, it, there isn't one, but we do have the metal uh, bracket here that we're going to connect it to just so we at least have that secure to something. Um, this directions for this specific LED lamp um, told you connect colors to matching colors in your house, which is I think pretty crazy because it should tell you which one you wire to hot, which one you wire to neutral. Uh, that's why we did the testing, so now we know. So black is hot, so we're connecting it here. We're gonna take a wire nut, match these up together, and then you just twist it on to both wires wrap around each other. You pull, make sure nothing pulls out. You have a secure grip. We're gonna wrap some tape around that as well, just for extra security. It's not necessary, but I feel that's a nice touch to do, just in case for some reason something comes loose. There you go. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the neutral. There 
we go. Now we're gonna connect our neutral, like I said, right to that housing. Just loosen up one of the bolts. Sometimes there will, there will be a specific bolt for the neutral wire or you connect it to the one that's sticking out. But if you have nothing, you're just not gonna connect the neutral. You don't have a choice. Now, we'll tuck it all back in here. And we're gonna screw this in, turn the power back on, and we're good to go. Turn our power back on now, and then I'll show you guys this light also has features for different type of daylight, warm light, and so power back on. And then this is what I was talking about. It has different modes. Daylight, bright light, warm, and so on, different brightnesses. So pretty cool. This is actually the light if anybody's interested. Home Depot, about 18, 19 bucks, LED power, uh, steel. Comes with this, has a trim, brown trim and a silver trim. And this just pops up. It's plastic, nothing fancy. And that's it. Guys, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos, comments, questions. Please comment below. Um, th uh, subscribe, thumbs up. Have a great one. Have a great one.